lately the wife and I have had, we've had pretty good luck uh, fishing. We like our fish fresh. So we weren't, we weren't really prepared. Um, what we do is we catch a fish and uh, we clean out a, a container and fill it with water and that's our live well. Our boat has a live well, but it doesn't work. So today's project, we're gonna get the live well working. Maybe. I don't know how to do that. Let's figure this out. We're on the boat here, and right there, what I was sitting on is actually the live well. How do I know it's the live well? It's easy. It's filled with stuff. So uh, the goal will be today to get this stuff out of here, uh, see if we can get the live well working. Now, there's only a few things to a live well, and that is the battery in the back, which we know is working. There's a switch right here. I think that's for the live well. I'm not sure. And in the back, there is, you can't see it from here, we'll go back there and take a look at it. There is a pump. So let's go back there and take a look at that. Here's your pump. Sits below the water line. Water line's about up here. And uh, just pumps water up into the live well. Goes up through this, uh, this tube here. And here's your power and ground wires. So we gotta make sure those are still good. And, well, that's not it. And uh, we'll take a look at those. So first things first, up on the console, I wanna make sure that the switch is getting power. And uh, there's a switch up there. Make sure it's getting power. And then make sure that power is getting back down to here. So let's start up there. First thing we gotta do is get this cover off. All the paint flaking off this is gonna get all over my carpet. But that's why I have a vacuum. And of course, the bottom two are different screws. Okay, going in, and it smells wet in there, which is not good. Okay, there's the switch, pretty much right there in the center. And it's got power coming in, should have power coming out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the switch out, bring it out here so we can actually take a look at it. It'd be hard to do it up in there. So let me, let me get that switch hanging out here. Okay, nothing special about this switch. It's just, it's got a ring on it. Just gotta pop that ring off. And uh, hopefully it'll come off. I just love sticking my hand up in here. And there we go. It broke. There you go, plastic. Probably be replacing that switch. Let's see if we can get this switch out. fell and I lost it. Should just be dangling there. There it is. And we got plenty of room. Here you go. So we get the meter and get a ground and uh, see if we got power here. I've run the negative lead all the way back to the battery so it's connected to the battery because I don't know the condition of this boat and its grounds. Uh, I checked here and I've already found this is meter set on DC and, and we got nothing. 
we got nothing it's just auto ranging all over the place so there's there's nothing coming up here now I can look down through here and uh, down inside there I can see that it goes right to a fuse block and um, so what I'm gonna have to do is I have to get to that fuse block to do that I gotta pull I gotta pull the glove box out so that's next There's my screwdriver. I love how it's got it's got cup holders here. You put a cup of anything in this and it's it's just gonna break off. I guess I can put screws in it. Should get a screw gun for that go much faster you know what I got screw guns and it would go faster and it would save time I'm retired I'm looking for stuff to do here we go. this should pop out this should pop out this should just pop out and there we go see it just popped out Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the seat out that I'm sitting in, get a light in there, and show you the fuse box. And we're in. And uh, you can't see the meter, but I can see the meter. And right here, I don't know if you can see that, we got 13.97 uh, volts, which is good. So that guy's good to go. Unfortunately, over here, we got nothing. So chances are pretty good. That fuse there is blown. So uh, let's, I gotta get something to get that fuse out. It's one of those old style glass ones. So I just gotta be careful not to break it. Although I've never broke one. So let's just try a pair of pliers, see what happens. And I dropped it. Ugh. Can I get it? Can I get it? I even see it. Question is, do I want to stick my hand down there to get it? There it is. And let's see what we got here. She is blown. You will not be able to see it, but it's blown. And there's just there's just no way you're gonna see that that's blown in there. Let's see. We'll have to, we'll try it here. So I'll twirl, twirl it around and you tell me if you see where it's blown. But she's blown. And I'll just check it with the meter here real quick. Okay. Put that there. Okay, that means good. Let me back you guys up so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. That means good. And we go from there to there. And that means no good. Good, no, no good. So the fuse is blown. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me a couple of things. Let me see if I can get your eyeballs up here. Well, I could if everything wasn't in the way, but everything's in the way. So what does that tell me? That tells me that when that switch over there gets flipped, something's shorted out somewhere and it's taken this fuse out. So, uh, I don't know if I have any of these fuses. I'm gonna have to look around. They're the old style glass fuses. And there's not enough light in here to read this. So let me see what this is. This is a uh, five amp. Fast blow, five amp. Don't know why they'd put a fast blow in there. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let me uh, get to working on this. And then we'll go another step. But before I apply power, I want to apply power through the switch to test the switch. I mean, I could do that with just the meter. Same test we did here. 
but I want to disconnect that pump down there. Do I want to disconnect that pump? Nah, I'll just throw another fuse in it if it pops. Okay, let me go find a fuse. That didn't take very long. Turns out that there are a couple of fuses in there that, that aren't being used for anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab one of those fuses. Ooh, and I think there's a higher rated fast blow or slow blow in there. So I'm gonna grab it. See if I can make some sparks. Here we go. And I, again, I, I can't read it. I don't know who I'm trying to kid. Um, I'll put this in there. Now, the other end of this wire here is already unplugged, so I'm not worried about it popping. All right, so that's in. Let me knock over the seat again. Hook the meter back up to the ground. Something you can't see because I'm off camera. And uh, test it. And that side, which was hot before, is now hot. This side, the fused side, it's hot. Coming out to this wire here, it's hot. So now we're going to be hot all the way up to the switch. So let me feed that through there, the other side, and I want to check it through the switch. So I'll do that next. Because I've tested this positively to the battery, so I know that this is good, uh, I was able to move the ground over here to the frame, test it, and the frame has a good ground. So I can go from there. So again, just to retest. DC voltage there, I'm good. I've got DC voltage there. Now, I don't want to send, I don't want to hook all this up, flip the switch, and then have a short downstream, and then I'm out of fuse, okay? So what I want to do, at least to get to this part, I'll bring it in here. This is where your input side goes on that switch, and Test it there, good. It's the, the terminal is good. And I've got nothing. I flip the switch up and it's good. Okay, the switch is good. So now the next thing I wanna do, and I'm gonna do this. What I'm gonna do is uh, turn this off. Make sure that's off. Should be switched down as off, okay. Verify, switch down. There we go, switch down is off, so it's off, okay? So I'm not gonna blow the fuse. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out back and I'm gonna cut the wire to the um, pump. And I'm gonna make sure I've got voltage all the way back to the pump. I can always fix that, that's, that's not an issue. So let's relocate to the back of the boat. Okay, we're back here at the back of the boat. And there's two wires running back here for the pump. And guess what? They're both black. And uh, it was a black wire up at the switch, so which one's which? Well, we're going to find out here real quick. I've got my ground lead hooked up there. I've got this set on buzz. We'll test this. Okay, so that's ground. We'll touch this guy and this great connection here. And that's ground. So we're going to assume that that's ground. So we're just going to... We're gonna set it over there in case I'm wrong so it doesn't short out. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna clip this guy here. Uh, that's actually not a bad looking splice. I'd have to look inside to see if it's, how good it's in size, but I'm gonna replace it no matter what. Let me check this wire here. It goes down here. How many splices we got in on this thing? Um, comes out of the pump. No splices up here to here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it well, you know what? I could always cut that section out later, so. Let me cut this guy here. Wow. And that should be 12 volts. So let me go up and uh, that guy there should be 12 volts. Once I flip the switch, let me flip the switch and uh, we'll come back and test it. I have flipped the switch. Let's reset the meter to uh, voltage, DC voltage. 
Let me switch hands with the camera here. And then this guy right there. Let's see what we got. There we go. Well, we had it for a second. 14.1 volts. I don't know if you can see that with the glare and everything. It sounds a little high, but we're on the solar charger right now. So, okay, so we have voltage all the way to here. We've got a ground here. We checked the ground. We're gonna cut that guy out and replace that guy. That's not a problem. And it comes down here to the pump. So the question is, is the pump any good? That is the next step. And what I'm gonna use to test that so I'm going to use my battery charger so I'm not just wasting fuses. So let me get that set up. been on there a while. And I got it. Okay. Okay, there's the pump. Uh, no matter what, I'm replacing it. Whether it works or not, I'm going to replace it. But uh, it's starting to get a little misty out here, so let's go in my massive shop facility and uh, Hook it up to the battery charger and run a smoke test on it, okay? Okay, we are in the shop. The massive 75 square foot shop. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strip these back, I'm gonna hook it up to the battery charger, and I'm gonna plug the battery charger into the wall. And we'll see what happens. Okay, it's a DC motor. So you put voltage in one way and it spins that way. You put it in another way, it spins the other way. I don't think this is any high-tech motor, so I'm not really worried about burning anything out. And if it does burn out, I'm replacing it anyway. And uh, you all get to see a little smoke test. It's got a brown wire and a black wire. How am I supposed to know which one's hot? So we'll hook the red one up to the black wire, and we'll hook the black one up to the black wire. Or set that there. A little bend in it so it hooks on better. And we'll plug it in. Okay, that's on uh, 10 amp. See what happens. Okay, it's drawing current, but uh, the motor's not spinning, so it's it's locked up. Not worth saving. Headed to the store. Got to get fuses. Got to get a pump, and uh, we'll be right back. Went and got the new pump. Ace Hardware. No big deal. This is where the controversy is going to come in, though. Do I solder or do I crimp? I'm gonna crimp. Um, and for everybody that just took a big gasp, I was in the military. Uh, I went to a two week school on how to learn to solder. I'm really good at it. Um, but then I spent 20 years in the commercial airline industry and uh, on aircraft, commercial aircraft wiring, you don't solder it. So uh, they do make these things called solder sleeves. They work great, uh, and I've used thousands of them. But uh, the problem with them is if you get them too hot in the middle, they'll burn through, okay? And they have a little inspection window and stuff, but it's just not worth it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these off. I'm gonna crimp them. I'm gonna use a non-insulated uh, crimp sleeve and then I'm gonna put an adhesive lined heat shrink over it. And that's the way I do it. You wanna do it a different way, go for it. Uh, but that's how I'm gonna do it today. 
And there you go. There's my splice. That's how I do it. Uh, crimped with marine grade Harbor Freight uh, adhesive lined heat shrink tubing. You can actually see the adhesive squirt out the bottom right there after you heat it up. With the assistance of my uh, my lovely wife, uh, we're gonna actually test this. Go ahead and hit the switch. And there you go, it works. Okay, I'll get it mounted up and we'll go on to the next thing. And there's the finished install. The pump's installed, the wiring's all taken care of, it's been tested, tube's in good shape. Next step is the live well itself. And this is where the live well is. Here's the steering wheel, here's the live well, and I pulled it out, and now it's just an empty hole right now. But this is the live well. Well, hold on one second. This is the tube coming up from the pump, and it's gonna connect right there. So, this is the live well. It just sets in here. I'll get that taken care of. Now, the drain tube was missing, so I actually found this guy in the rafters. Um, just It's just half inch PVC. I found this in the rafters under the house, so I'm gonna mark it right there and cut it. And uh, there's your drain tube. The way it works is water comes in here, fills the, fills the live well up. When it gets to the top of this tube, it just starts running out continually recirculates the water in here. So hopefully by the time you get to the dock, your fish are still alive. Let's go get this cut. There you go. A completely functional live well. Is it perfect? Nope. Did we make progress? Well, yeah, it didn't work before. Works now. Now all I gotta do is clean this mess up. That's the easy part.